We're keeping the court waiting, Inquisitor. Shall we? There must be something here. Mika, what am I going to do if I cannot find my ring? Is this the ring you are looking for? You are a treasure! Enjoy the party. Inquisitor? Lady Inquisitor, we welcome you to the Winter Palace. Allow us to present our cousin, the Grand Duchess of Leeds, without whom this gathering would never have been possible. What an unexpected pleasure. I was not aware the Inquisition would be part of our festivities. We will certainly speak later, Inquisitor. Your arrival at court is like a cool wind on a summer's day. I am delighted to be here, Your Majesty. We have heard much of your exploits, Inquisitor. They have made grand tales for long evenings. How do you find Halam Shiral? I've never seen anything to equal the Winter Palace. We hope you will find time to take in some of its beauty. Feel free to enjoy the pleasures of the ballroom, Inquisitor. We look forward to watching you dance. Please, Inquisitor, did you need something? The sooner we track down this infiltrator, the better. You've attracted a following. Who are all these people? I don't know, but they won't leave me alone. I take it you're not enjoying yourself. At this point, the headache I'm developing is preferable to the company. We'll talk later. I await your signal. Leave us. Hmm. The package is in the guest wing. Upper room. 
The one of the garden, statuette. Philippe should have returned hours ago, dallying with some serving girl while I deal with Gaspar's vitriol. Awfully selfish of this, Philippe, running off to play and leaving you with all the work. I've half a mind to inform the Dowager. That would teach him to shirk his duties to roll some elven maid. The night of all nights, leaving me to convey Gaspar's death threats to the Council. Wonderful timing, Philippe. Thank you for listening to me, Rand. You are too kind, Inquisitor. Well, well, the Inquisitor. Here as a guest of my nephew, no less. I'm curious. I didn't know the Grand Duke was your nephew. He's my brother's eldest boy. Always a difficult child, Gaspar. Never listened, never did what he was told. He was raised a prince. All his life we told him he would be emperor. It was his destiny, his duty. What else should he do with his life, if not fight for his destiny? Another time, my lord. Well, well. What's this? You got anything that needs killing? Because the nobles keep messing with me, and they think I don't know they're doing it. This keeps up. I'm gonna wear somebody's skull as my fancy little mask. Any interest in a dance? <laughs> oh, shit. The nobles would love that. Can you imagine Josephine's face trying to explain that we were... Wait, were you serious? Because if so, then... Yeah, absolutely. I mean, once we stop the assassins and all. Anything catching your eye? They've got these candy nuts with some kind of spice on them. It's sweet until you swallow, and then... BAM! Hot! Uh, nothing on the assassins, though. Look at this with the eyes of a Ben Hasrath, and tell me what you see. It's a mess. Everyone's trying so hard to hide that they're walking around in plumage. Makes it tough to spot the dangerous lies. ...as opposed to the normal stuff. Oh, but that couple over there, with the silver masks? The woman's doing one of the nobles, and the guy's doing two different servants. Talk to you later, Bull. I'll just stay here and eat. My lady! My lady Inquisitor! May we have a word? It is very important. The Empress has sent us with a message for you. I'm always honored to hear from Her Majesty. Oh, she is the honored one, Inquisitor. Empress Selene is eager to assist the Herald of Andraste in her holy endeavor. She will pledge her full support to the Inquisition as soon as the usurper Gaspar is defeated. That's a generous offer. The Empress believes wholeheartedly that the Inquisition is our best hope for peace in these difficult times. She looks forward to cementing a formal alliance. As soon as Gaspar is out of the way. But we have taken enough of your time. Please, enjoy the masquerade, Inquisitor.
I found this out. I'm not sure of its value. Very interesting. It may not help our investigation, but we can put it to use. A little more dirt like this, and we might have some leverage in the court. If you find more, let me know. I should go. Be on your guard. I always am. You are an interesting one. You have quite the silver tongue, Inquisitor. I do hope you put it to good use. Would you care to dance, Lady Mantillon? You, Inquisitor, are a delight. One does not often find foreigners so well versed in the game. But you have other dances to perform first. Perhaps you will save me a dance for later? Good evening, milady. Mistress Nighting. In Ugh. So many crimes of fashion. I found this out. I'm not sure of its value. The things courtiers get up to. To what do we all have something up her sleeve? We are always delighted to speak with you, of course. Her Imperial Majesty is unfortunately occupied at present. I'd like to know more about the negotiations. What can you tell me about the other parties involved in the talks? Gaspard is a decorated general. Much beloved by the Imperial Army, and a legend among Chevaliers. He is better suited to the battlefield than the throne, and he would gladly make his palace a war camp. He's also fiendishly charming. Lady Briella has great intentions to change the lives of the Elves for the better. Even if her plans could never work and would only provoke hate crimes against alienages. She is an idealist, but her lack of patience could prove disastrous. Good evening. Until next time, Inquisitor. Do take care. Enjoy the masquerade. Inquisitor Trevelyan. Slumming even more than usual, I see. You've charmed some of the nobles. We'll see how long you can keep their favor. What brings you to me? You might be interested in what I've found. It's about Gaspard. He's been threatening the nobles on the Council of Heralds. Typical. Gaspard's always been a bully, regardless of the Chevalier Code. I want to know more about the peace talks. What can you tell me about Celine and Gaspard? Gaspard is a warmonger. He served in the war against Ferelden and fought a dozen skirmishes on the Navaran border. He's a simple man. Simple men aren't hard to manipulate. Selene is the voice of reason in the Empire. But reason is cautious. Reason looks for compromise. Reason doesn't choose radical change. However sorely it may be needed. We'll speak more later, Ambassador. 
Another time, Inquisitor. This was no servant. What was he doing here? Is that Gaspard's family crest on the hilt of that dagger? Time to have a word with the Duke. No! No!
Fancy meeting you here. Shouldn't you be dancing, Inquisitor? What will the nobility say? Ambassador, we meet again. Your reputation for getting results is well deserved. You clean this place out. It will take a month to get all the Tevinta blood off the marble. I came down to save or avenge my missing people. But you've beaten me to it. So, the Council of Errol's emissary in the courtyard. That's not your work, is it? He was dead when I arrived. I expected as much. You may have arrived with the Grand Duke, but you don't seem to be doing his dirty work. I knew he was smuggling his chevaliers, but killing a council emissary? Bringing Tevinter assassins into the palace? Those are desperate acts. Gaspar must be planning to strike tonight. He can try, but I'll stop him. I wish you luck. Better than luck? I wish you success. I misjudged you, Inquisitor. You might just be an ally worth having. What could you do with an army of elven spies at your disposal? You should think about it. I would consider such an alliance. We can help each other, Inquisitor. We are both outsiders here, after all. I know which way the wind is blowing. I'd bet coin that you'll be part of the peace talks before the night is over. And if you happen to lean a little bit our way, it could prove advantageous to us both. Just a thought. Is it true what they say? You're the Inquisitor, are you not? We heard stories of your accomplishments. I'd wager I have better tales than anything you've heard. I told you, Philippe. Not everyone fights an archdemon and lives to tell. It's an inspiration. If you'd like, Commander Cullen could give you all the details of that battle. He's in the ballroom. Ready? I shouldn't leave my post. You'd only be gone a moment. Philippe, the world is coming to an end. If we don't hear this story now, we'll never have a chance. You're right. Thank you, Inquisitor. Let's go. Inquisitor Travellian. We met briefly. I am Grand Duchess Floriane de Chalon. Welcome to my party. Is there something I can do for you, Your Grace? Indeed you can. I believe tonight you and I are both concerned by the actions of... a certain person. Come, dance with me. Spies will not hear us on the dance floor. Very well. Shall we dance, Your Grace? I'd be delighted. You are from the Free Marches, are you not? How much do you know about our little war? What do you think I ought to know? 
My brother and my dear cousin have been at each other's throats for too long. It took great effort to arrange tonight's negotiations. Yet one party would use this occasion for blackest treason. The security of the Empire is at stake. Neither one of us wishes to see it fall. Do we both want that, Lady Florian? I hope we are of one mind on this. In times like these, it's hard to tell friend from foe, is it not, Your Grace? I know you arrived here as a guest of my brother, Gaspar, and have been everywhere in the palace. You are a curiosity to many, Inquisitor, and a matter of concern to some. Am I the curiosity or the concern to you, Your Grace? A little of both, actually. This evening is of great importance, Inquisitor. I wonder what role you will play in it. Do you even yet know who is friend and who is foe? Who in the court can be trusted? An excellent question. I might ask the same of you, Your Grace. In the Winter Palace, everyone is alone. It cannot have escaped your notice that certain parties are engaged in dangerous machinations tonight. I thought dangerous machinations were the national sport in Olay. You have little time. The attack will come soon. You must stop Gaspar before he strikes. In the Royal Wing Garden, you will find the captain of my brother's mercenaries. He knows all Gaspar's secrets. I'm sure you can persuade him to be forthcoming. We'll see what the night has in store, won't we?
Hello? Is anyone there? Somebody? Anybody? Are you all right? I'm... I... I don't think I'm hurt. No one's supposed to be here. Briala said... Oh, I shouldn't have trusted her. It takes great courage to come to the Royal Wing unarmed. <laughs> it's not courage to blindly follow Briala's orders into a trap. I knew her. Before. When she was Celine's pet. Now she wants to play revolution, but I remember. She was sleeping with the Empress who purged our alienage. Would you be willing to testify to that, if I asked? Absolutely. If the Inquisition will protect me, I'll tell you everything I know about our ambassador. Most Orlesians would say that's Celine's scandal, not Briala's. Go to the ballroom. Find Commander Cullen. He'll keep you safe. Thank you. Make her protect you, Inquisitor. A pity you'll miss the rest of the ball, Inquisitor. They'll be talking of it for years. Kill her. Bring me the marked hand as proof. It will make a fine gift for the master. And trust his tits, what was all that? Were those demons? There aren't any more of those blasted demons coming, right? No more demons. It's safe. Maker? I've never seen one that close before. I knew Gaspard was a bastard, but I didn't think he'd feed me to fucking horrors over a damn bill. Duke Gaspard lured you out here. Well, his sister. But it had to come from him, didn't it? And all that garbage she was spewing doesn't mean anything. Gaspard had to be the mastermind. Your accent sounds Ferelden. I thought you were one of Gaspard's mercenaries. Born and raised in Denerim. Seems like I should have stayed there. The Duke wanted to move on the palace tonight, but he didn't have enough fancy chevaliers. So he hired me and my men. He had to offer us triple our usual pay to come to Orlais. Sticky, punsy cheesemongers. I need you to tell that to the Empress. Gaspard doesn't care who he hurts on his way to the throne, does he? You saved my life. I owe you. And Gaspard still hasn't paid me. You want me to talk to the Empress, or the court, or sing a blasted song in a chantry? I'll do it.
Thank the Maker you're back. The Empress will begin her speech soon. What should we do? Wait here, Cullen. I'm going to have a word with the Grand Duchess. What? There's no time. The Empress will begin her speech any moment. Inquisitor. The eyes of every noble in the Empire are upon us, Your Grace. Remember to smile. This is your party. You wouldn't want them to think you had lost control. Who would not be delighted to speak with you, Inquisitor? I seem to recall you saying, all I needed was to keep you out of the ballroom long enough to strike. When your archers failed to kill me in the garden, I feared you wouldn't save me this last dance. It's so easy to lose your good graces. You even framed your brother for the murder of a council emissary. It was an ambitious plan. Selene, Gaspard, the entire Council of Heralds, all your enemies under one roof. This is very entertaining. But you do not imagine anyone believes your wild stories. That will be a matter for a judge to decide, cousin. Gaspard? You cannot believe this. You know I would never... Gaspard? At least this time, justice will be swift. <laughs> Your Imperial Majesty, I think we should speak in private, elsewhere. Enough! We will not bicker while Tevinter plots against our nation. For the safety of the Empire, I will have answers. Your captain tells me you spent all night sneaking mercenaries into the palace, Gaspard. You intended to attack. And where did your troops come from, Inquisitor? If sneaking men into the palace is damning, then we are both damned. I have the word of your mercenary captain. He'll testify that you intended to attack tonight. Hired thugs. I didn't expect you to stoop so low, cousin. Don't be naive, Selene. The only difference between a mercenary and a common soldier is a uniform. By all means, continue to protest your innocence, Gaspar. We find this performance endlessly fascinating. Here, I have the letter Gaspard penned to his general ordering his men into position inside the palace. Can you blame me? Considering what transpired, preparing to repel an attack was the course of wisdom. And of course, he made death threats to the Council of Heralds. Thank you, Inquisitor. There can be no doubt of your treason, Gaspar. No, it seems there cannot. In light of overwhelming evidence, we have no choice but to declare you an enemy of the Empire. You are hereby sentenced to death. Of course, Briala helped him betray Orlay. Don't be absurd. You had your spies infiltrate the palace servants for entirely benevolent reasons? How many of my servants did you kill to replace with your spies? Even if I did this, you can't touch me. Not without starting riots in every slum and alienage in Orly. The elves won't protect her once they know about her... ...involvement with you during the purge of Halam Shiral. Thank you, Inquisitor, for all your efforts tonight. I owe you my life, and Orly owes you its future. 